If you're planning to launch an online store and you've decided to use WooCommerce, let me show you one of the best WooCommerce hosting for high traffic, zero downtime, and excellent support. It's called Rapid Cloud, and I'm going to show you how to set up WooCommerce right now. Hey, what's up, everyone? So we first need to decide what route we want to take in terms of hosting. Do we want to take the route for the managed hosting, or do we want to take the route for shared hosting or BPS? Now, the first thing you need to know is that with shared hosting and BPS, there's practically little to none support. They won't help you out much because you have to manage that practically on your own. So speed performance, setup, security, backups, and all that is your issue, right? And when it comes to managed hosting, you'll have a lot of backup behind you. First thing you need to know is that Rapid Cloud has 365 days a year live chat. 724, right? So that means you all day long, you'll have support with these guys. Plus it comes along with speed, with help, with free migration, and a whole lot more. Now, if you want to check out Rapid Cloud, link provided in the description. And I definitely think that you should take this route if you want to have a hassle-free online store, right? So check out Rapid Cloud. The first thing you want to do is jump over to Rapid Cloud, check out the site, see the specs, what they're offering, why is it better than other providers? You're going to get intelligent WooCommerce caching. You're going to get live cart technology caching specifically for each user individual. So that's not common out there. And you're going to get that with this plan, smart person technology, instant search. As I mentioned before, 24 seven, 365 days a year, live chat support available. So no issues with someone to help you out. 10 times X performance, 97% percent satisfaction and super fast response time. So it, it doesn't mean that you'll have all day long live support, live chat support that's going to answer you every other hour. These guys are fast. OK, now, as I said, I wanted to show you how to launch your site on Rapid Cloud to add WooCommerce so you can start your online store. So on this case, what we want to do is create our first site. You bought your plan. You want to get started right here. OK, now, if you need to migrate, you have a store somewhere else. So like this. But if you start from zero, we're going to create a site right here and I'm going to use my existing plan. I'm going to select it. Here we go. Let's go ahead and continue. And I'm going to add the details to my store. All right. So in this case, I'm just going to name it store and I'll say store test. All right. Location. Decide where you want your store to be located. Now, this is really important that you decide where you want it because you'll want to decide the closest or nearest where your clients are going to be accessing your online store. In this case, I'll just keep it US West because I'm closer to that one. I'm going to select the latest version for PHP 8.3. Now, if you have a plugin, a theme, something that doesn't have support for this, you might want to select 8.2 or 8.1. In this case, I'll select the latest one, which is what I would recommend. Okay. And we want to add WooCommerce to the site. OK, so we're going to enable this. So that's going to make things super easier. We're not going to have to jump into the site and install it manually. This will do it for us. OK, so we're going to give it a few minutes for this to set up because it's going to install the website. It's going to install plugins that are going to speed up our website and a whole lot more. Now, while that is finishing up, let me show you some benchmark reports that Rapid Cloud has generated based on several tests that they've ran and I have a full detailed PDF right here that you can also have access to by going into the link in the description that I'll be leaving to for this. And you can download free report right here and view several results that they've generated based on several tests when they compare to WP Engine, Kingster, RocketNet, Prescale, and several of these that are really popular. Now you can see here request completed in 60 seconds. And these are some results that they've ran right here. And as I mentioned before, they have a detailed report how these tests were actually generated, how they launched it, what they were using, and all those details will be here in the beginning. So you can actually read through these, view the content and see how they actually ran these tests. Now you can view a more concise view of the report here in features performance. And we scroll down here and we're going to view, view some of the tests that they've run. It's a more concise view of the actual PDF report. But if you want to view a quick view here, it's super easy. You got your request completed and you can see in 60 seconds the amount of the request that is completed. And this is Rapid Cloud in the pink and the rest are really falling behind. There's also the first error max window, error weight, normalize and normalize request per second. Now, each one of these will have a detail of what they are actually testing and what the results mean. But I would definitely 
recommend that you jump into the PDF and check every single detail right here, which is going to be way better, right? So let's wait for our website to be installed to check out WooCommerce. Okay, our website is now installed. We now have a workable live site that has WooCommerce ready for us to set up, okay? Now I can jump into Rapid Cloud Dashboard or I can jump into the back end of my WordPress site where I have WooCommerce, which is this site right here, okay? So in this case, WooCommerce is installed because I enabled that when I installed it over there on Rapid Cloud. If you didn't tick that on, don't worry, you can install WooCommerce later on by going into plugins, add a new plugin and search for WooCommerce, okay? So in this case, I've already have it here. And the first thing I would recommend that you get started with is setting up your company details, address, and your payment gateways before creating products, okay? And you'll find that over here in the settings. And in settings, I recommend that you go through these one by one and set them up. Take the time to do it. I know it's, it's a little bit uh, time consuming, but you need to do this in the beginning, okay? So set this up, everything you need to do, for example, set the currency. If you're in another country, select another currency right here. You need to set up your product details, shipping, the payment gateways right here. You need to enable the ones that you want to accept. Now you can go ahead and add, for example, Stripe, PayPal, including the payment gateways that are local to your country. In my case, Mercado Pago, well, that's available and I can install it right here, okay? Once you set all this up, you want to start creating products. So down here under WooCommerce, you'll find a section that says products and in products, we can create a new product. So I'll go ahead and add one right now, just for setting purposes. And I'll just say test description. Here we go. And I'll set a regular price of 100 and the sale price is $78. So that's going to show the checked off price of $100 and it's now reduced to $78. Okay. Now, if you're selling a digital product, you'll want to select virtual and downloadable in case there's a downloadable product, okay? And then you wanna set up your inventory, your shipping, linked products, attributes, advanced, and more options, okay? And if it's a single product, leave it as is. If it's a group product, if it's an external affiliate product, and if it's a variable product, go ahead and select these options, okay? Now, once you're good to go, you wanna add a product image by, in this case, uploading one because I don't have any files here. I'll select this one just for testing purposes, okay? Here we go. You can add product gallery, select the category, add some tags for whatever it is. For example, it's a PC, a CRM, a SaaS, etc. Just add those tags. It helps with SEO purposes. And you want to hit publish, okay? Here we go. It is now published. Let's go ahead and view the product really quickly. Here we go. We don't have a beautiful image, but we now have a live product to start selling right now. Obviously, if you set up the payment gateway and all that stuff, you are good to go to start selling. Let's go into cart and here we go. Here's the product. If I want to add another one, go ahead and go to checkout and go through the payment gateway process. But that's how easy it is to install WooCommerce on Rapid Cloud. Now, let me show you really quickly the back end of Rapid Cloud. If you jump over to the dashboard over here, you'll find a lot of details that will help you with your store. For example, a quick overview of everything that's going on with your stats, your CPU usage, your RAM, local storage, etc. The WordPress options here. So you can downgrade WordPress version straight from here without having to go into the back end of the WordPress site. And this helps in case something goes wrong. Same thing goes with WooCommerce, with the themes, with the plugins. You can update from here, you can downgrade, you can remove them. In case you have any issues, it's a really nice feature available here on Rapid Cloud. Okay. You have your stats, your backups, and several settings available here. And something that I really do love about Rapid Cloud is that they include Monarchs. This is a security system that is really powerful and it's gonna keep your site really secure. So that's included on this hosting. So that's included in this hosting service. So you definitely wanna take advantage of that, all right? So definitely, if you wanna start off a WooCommerce store, I definitely recommend that you check out Rapid Cloud. So that link will be provided in the description and also the details for the PDF. If you wanna check it out, I'll be leaving that link here so you can check out those details for the test that they've ran, all right? And that's a wrap.